See, guys, yeah. this is why you, you've got to get away from this idealized version of a, of a twin flame, you know, kind of levitating with, you know, white light coming out of his armpits and, you know, a halo. This is this is this is silliness because the, the twin flame connection has to be painful enough to force you to do the work exactly. and get to a place where you say, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired and I'm going to find my power. That's yes. kind of like like believing that the twin flame uh situation is not a tumultuous painful situation it's like believing you can have a spiritual awakening without a dark night of the soul you have to have a dark night of the soul to <laughs> dissolve the old identity and make room for the new more stronger powerful version of you well that old identity of who you thought you were has to go and that's going to be painful that's why you've got your twin flame <laughs> very very painful and you guys i always am gonna have like a very strong love for my twin flame. I've finally gotten to the point where I've allowed myself to let go of a lot of the resentment and the anger and all those emotions that are very valid that I know you guys are all feeling. But once you get to the point where you can really see their journey too and see their wounds and see them as just people too, that little children, our inner, ch inner child, that are just trying to heal too, you can kind of have and start developing that compassion and just let them go on their journey. You don't want to force this. You don't want to just be sitting here and let this time go to waste just sitting here, um, focusing all your energy on getting them back and just waiting. You're missing so much valuable time that you could be learning about yourself. And it's grueling just sitting on the couch day in and day out. I did it for a good solid month and a half, two months. And then I finally had to say enough is enough. I want to take my life back. I have to be the change and I have to do something that I've never done before, which is fearlessly walk into the future um, without knowing. Yeah. And would you agree that because you kind of hinted on this when you do your own healing it kind of gets you out of that bubble phase and then you you see the trauma that your twin has to deal yes. with and it kind yeah. of you know, makes them more of a person and not some idealized angel up in yes the sky, right? you take them off the pedestal and then you start to really when you get you start to think about the whole relationship as a whole as a third party observer now and you start to say like dang I remember that he said, they said this, that wasn't okay. Wow. Wow. When I was blaming myself about that, that was really a projection. You start really putting things together and you're like, they're not this perfect being individual that I really was making themselves out to be. And actually they have a lot of work to do too. And actually we need this time apart or we were literally going to kill each other. This is not, you know, like it's, right. it makes sense. So just allow yourself the time and the space and let go energetically as well, because even though you're physically not together, the energetic cord, of continuing, you know, it it's powerful. And so just put it into yourself and see what happens. Promise, you won't be upset.